The goal of this video is to show you how to prepare your materials for the George Hart 12 pointed star construction. Your finished product looks like this. This is your goal. It takes 12 playing cards properly prepared to build this star. We're going for 12 cards patterned, cut, scored, and folded, and from here we'll be able to assemble this star. So I want to show you a couple of the skills you'll need to make this project. Each kit has a pattern and 13 cards. One card is extra. You want to work with 12 and only 12 cards. So occasionally you should be counting. 3, 6, 9, 12. If I try to assemble a 12 pointed star with 13 cards, I won't get a 12 pointed star. I'll really just get kind of a mess. So one of the things we're going to do while working with this project is to check our work and check our work again. You each have a card shaped pattern that looks like this and it says front on one side. We're actually going to put that side that says front on the back of your card so that the images you get when you're working with the card look like the images you get in the George Hart directions. So you place your pattern on top of the back of your playing card and you draw with a sharpie through the slots on the pattern onto the back of the card. And go ahead and do all 12 cards, but be careful that each one is done on the back of the card and that you square the pattern up as precisely as you can for each card so that they all match very well and that will help you to assemble easily when the project is done. So skill number one is being able to draw the pattern using the template in your kit. Skill number two is to cut slots where, around the sharpie lines. Now, slits would be one cut. We're actually cutting slots. So you want to cut on each side of the sharpie line so that what you have is an actual slit in the card so that another card will fit inside. This is what's going to allow the cards to move around a little bit after you construct. So you should have a piece that you snip off. Now the distance from the edge of the card to the end of the slot is important. It's been precisely measured by George Hart, who designed this kit as a gift to the mathematicians that attended the Martin Gardner Recreational Mathematicians Conference in, I believe this is a 2009 gift. So cut all 12 of your cards to have slots. The next skill you're going to need to prepare your 12 cards for this kit is the ability to score and fold them. Now, as you can tell by the pattern, this dotted line, solid lines represent the cut, the dotted line represents the score and the fold. The score and fold line runs opposite corners to the slot lines. For this, I'm going to look at the face of my card. What I want is a result like this. This is folded against the scored side. And scored means just to kind of break the fibers of the playing card on one side so that it makes a nice crease. So using a straight edge or ruler, you're going to line up corner to corner, making sure we're not scoring from slotted corner to slotted corner, but 
we're scoring opposite that on a solid corner. And it doesn't take much pressure to break the fibers on one side of the card. And you get a nice straight line from corner to corner. And you simply fold along that line. The directions in the George Hart kit say to open your work up to a 60 degree angle. So here's 90, half of 90 is 45. Somewhere in between is a 60 degree angle. And that stays pretty solid with a nice score and it will allow you to assemble pretty easily.